Welcome into the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I want to show you how to use the Samsung Galaxy Ring for beginners. This will be a full beginner's walkthrough. I'm going to show you how to pair it to your phone, and then I'm going to show you how to control the different functions, how to track your stats. There's two apps you have to use in tandem with the Ring to really do all the tracking, so stay all the way till the end so you don't miss any important information. And if at any point you get value out of the video, my one ask is if you stop and bump that like button down below and leave a comment and that will help to share this video with more people and it will also help to tell YouTube that you like the video and you learn from it and therefore they will push it to more people. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So here's the first thing. A lot of people miss this. On the back of the ring, there is actually a USB-C port. This is how you charge the ring, okay? Now in the box, it will come with a USB-C cable and you can plug it in right here and that's how you charge it. Now, some of you guys may not have a USB-C wall charger because uh, the charger is gonna have this USB-C on both sides. So if you don't have that, I'll link a charger on screen right here. This is an anchor charger, very reliable one. It'll work great for charging the ring. So once you plug in the case, when you open up the ring, you should see the light come on and you more than likely will get this pop-up that will ask, hey, we found a new device, would you like to pair? If you see this pop-up, great. You're gonna press connect and it's gonna start the process of pairing the ring to your phone. Now. Some of you guys are not gonna get this pop-up because you have an older Samsung phone and no problem, I'm gonna show you basically how to pair it if you don't get that pop-up. You're gonna swipe up and you're gonna look for an app that's called Wearable, W-E-A-R. Now this will come installed on just about every Samsung phone, but if you don't have it on your phone, go to the Play Store and type in Samsung Wearable and it will take you to this app. Now. This app will default to whatever Samsung device you had connected last. So guess what? It's showing us our Buds 2. Now at the bottom here, there's this little button. And when you tap on that button, this will allow you to pair new devices. So we're gonna hit the plus. And now it's gonna begin to look for new Samsung devices. And as we swipe up, we should see our ring. There it is right here, Galaxy Ring. We're gonna tap on that. And this will now trigger the pairing process. Here's the pop-up, Bluetooth pairing request. We're gonna hit pair. It's going to basically download some additional software. There's a special plugin that's for the ring. So you'll need to install that. Next, we need to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. Now some of these will say optional. I like to uncheck anything that's optional, but do whatever works better for you. I'm gonna hit continue and agree. So next we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna to go to allow all the time. And what we're doing here is we're turning on this location feature because if your ring ever gets lost, you'll be able to track where your ring is using the wearable app. So that's why you want to give it permission for your location. If not, if you ever lose the ring, there's no way to track it down. Okay, we're gonna hit the back button, hit continue, hit allow, and allow. This part will take just a couple of seconds. So the first thing is you can check your body's battery level. And this is saying wearing your ring continuously to get a detailed energy score at the start of the day. It lets you know when your body needs a break and it helps you find the right balance of activity and rest. Next, your ring can understand your sleep for better rest. It will also recommend when it's a good time to go to sleep. This is also a feature that's available on the new watches as well. It can track your daily activity, so it can track your steps. You can use this as just a step tracker. Now, I tend to wear a Samsung watch, so I'm kind of using both of these to track my steps, but you can just wear the ring and it will track your steps, your calories burnt, and your active minutes. And you can set targets. And I'll show you how to do that later using the app. Let's hit next. And it will also send you alerts. So it will let you know what. So 
So the first thing is you can check your body's battery level. And this is saying wearing your ring continuously to get a detailed energy score at the start of the day. It lets you know when your body needs a break and it helps you find the right balance of activity and rest. Next, your ring can understand your sleep for better rest. It will also recommend when it's a good time to go to sleep. This is also a feature that's available on the new watches as well. It can track your daily activity, so it can track your steps. You can use this as just a step tracker. Now, I tend to wear a Samsung watch, so I'm kind of using both of these to track my steps, but you can just wear the ring and it will track your steps, your calories burnt, and your active minutes. And you can set targets, and I'll show you how to do that later using the app. Let's hit next. So it can let you know when your heart rate drops below a certain rate or above a certain rate. For some of you that know that's really important to know there could be something going on with your body and this will let you know by triggering if your heart rate is too low or too high. And this is a newer feature. It can also predict your menstrual cycle for women. So that's pretty cool. Hit next. So next it's showing you how you need to wear the ring. So the important thing is on the ring, there's a little dash you see right there and the dash needs to be facing you. So like I would put it on my pointer finger, right? And the dash needs to be facing towards me like this. This is how you get the most optimal tracking is if that dash is facing forward. If you have it faced in a different direction, it's not going to track as accurately. Another important thing to note, and some of you guys, I hope this was explained to you when you purchased it. For the best tracking results, it's supposed to go on your index finger, not on your ring finger. Okay, so you should have aligned it to fit on your index finger, not your ring finger. Now, guess what? If you're doing the step tracking, it doesn't matter. But for a lot of the other tracking, that's where it's going to matter. So um, if you need to go exchange it, I would say exchange it to make sure it fits your index finger. I call it a pointer finger. And basically, we're done with the setup. This is what the home screen of the wearable app is going to look like for the ring. Now, there's two apps you're going to use in tandem to kind of interact with the ring and with the data that it's collecting. So this is the first app. This is the wearable app. You can check your energy score. So as you wear the ring at night, it will show you, you know, how your energy is uh, when you wake up there will be a pop-up on your phone that'll show you your energy score based on how well you slept. So here's where you can go back and look at different days and see how you did. So that was, you know, on the second. So it'll show you, you know, your sleep patterns. It'll show you when your sleep isn't great. It'll show you how much REM sleep you had, your rhythms. You've got lots of great information in there. Next, you have the sleep section. So we saw a lot of that data already in the last app, but there is even more detailed information that's in the sleep section of the app here. There's even a snoring detection that you can activate as well. There's bedtime guidance. It'll tell you what's the best time to go to sleep to get the best rest, sleeping environment, all kind of cool stuff. So this is something you want to go into and play around with. Now, what's interesting is every time I go in here, it's actually defaulting me to the Samsung Health app. Now, this, this is the other app that you'll be using to track a lot of the data. So, uh, for example, your, act, your activity, your steps, your calories burnt, um, and your active minutes, all that tracking is going to show up in the Samsung Health app. This is a separate app that is more so for tracking activity. Okay. Let me just go back one more time. Um, there is a heart rate section here. So if you feel your heart rate might be elevated, you can come in here and you can tap on measure and it will measure your heart rate at that moment. And you can also have, you can look back on how your heart rate has changed over the course of the last few days and how your heart rate was when you slept and a bunch of other cool information. Okay. And next, the last thing is stress. You can also look at your stress level. You can check to see if you're elevated or if you're relaxed. This is also helpful too. 
So a lot of good information there. Now let's pause for a moment in this app and let's jump over to the Samsung Health app. Now, if you swipe up and just type in health, again, this app should be installed on most Samsung phones. If it's not, you're gonna go to the Play Store and simply type in Samsung Health and just download this app. And in here, you'll be able to track your activity. They'll have the sleep tracking. You have your workouts, which these are, these are defaults more so for the watch. But here, you can see a snapshot of when you worked out for the week. You can track other things like food intake, body composition, uh, the cycle tracking, blood pressure, glucose, all kind of great stats that it will be able to build data for over time as you wear the ring more. Okay, next let's go over how to track a workout using your Galaxy Ring. So you'll wanna go to the Samsung Health app. We're gonna just type in health. Now swipe up, we're gonna go to this section, this is the exercise section, and then you can select the exercise you would like it to track. Let's say I wanna track my run, I'm gonna tap on run, and it's gonna ask if, you know, do you give permission to get my location? Um, you can hit while using the app here. Go ahead and hit start, turn on, and so normally it uses the phone to track this data. But since you have the watch on, it will begin to use your watch to track the workout. So it'll track your heart rate, your pace, your distance, all that will track using the ring. And when you're done, you can simply hit finish. Now, as you swipe through, you can get different pieces of data here. For example, uh, the distance, uh, the cadence, the speed, and uh, more details on your heart rate. So this is how you would keep track of your workout with your ring and how you stop the workout. You just hit finish, and then it will give you a snapshot of all the stats at the very end. Here's how to check the battery life on your Samsung Galaxy Ring. There's a few different ways to do this. So the first way is simply put it in the case. When you press the button, it'll show you how much battery is left by the ring around. Right now I'm at 100%. So the light goes all the way around, but, but if I take the out and I press that button again, it's now going to only show me the battery life of the charging cradle. Watch this. See, I only have about 50% left in terms of the charge on the cradle case. The other way to check the battery is as soon as you take the ring off, you'll see the lights in the inside begin to flash. If they flash green, that means that your battery is above 15%. But if it flashes red, it means the battery is below 15%. Now, let me show you one of the coolest features of the ring that I discovered after I got the ring, surprisingly. Um, there are gestures that you can activate using the ring. And one of the gestures is taking pictures. So if you come into the gesture section and you turn on, take a picture or video, watch this. I'm gonna put the ring on and I'm gonna go into the camera. And so, I can take a picture by simply doing this. And it will take a picture. You see that? Tap, tap. It's a double tap with the fingers and it will automatically take a picture. So this is a great way. You can use the ring as a remote for taking a group picture. Set this up on a tripod, go stand in the picture, double tap, and it will automatically take a picture. If you're on the video mode, it'll do the same thing. You can have it activate the video as well. So. Super cool. Now, the other thing you can do is you can dismiss alarms. So if you're, you know, maybe you set alarm because you wanna to go to bed at 9 p.m. Well, when that alarm goes off, same thing, you're gonna just double tap and it will automatically silence or turn off the alarm just by you doing the gesture. I hope they uh, expand that to allow you to add a lot more features, but for now, those are definitely two really great ones to start with. Now I'm just grazing the surface on what your ring can do. To find more tips, check out this section on here where it says learn how to get the most out of your ring tips. That's where you'll get a lot more information and you'll also be alerted as new features are pushed out for the ring. Now the, the last note I wanted to share is that I've been using the ring for about three days and so far the battery life has been really awesome. I've gotten 
I think I've used maybe 50% of the battery for those three days. Now, I do wear a Samsung watch as well. And so one important thing to note is that when you wear a Samsung watch and the ring, it, it does default a lot of the data to the watch, and that helps to save some of the battery. So um, I haven't quite uh, determined if it makes sense to wear both. Is there really a case for both? Um, obviously, your watch tells time, and it has a display. Your ring does not have a display, so you lose the functionality of being able to answer calls and look at messages. And there's a lot of other things that your watch does that the ring doesn't do, but if you're strictly worried about tracking your health and your stats, that's where the ring really comes in very handy. So we're at the top of the app here. Let's swipe up. This is the Find My Ring feature. So if you ever lose your ring, this is how you can locate it. Now, guess what? You don't want to open this the first time you lose your ring. You want to open it immediately when you first set up the ring because there's some things you'll have to enable in order for it to be able to actually tra keep track of your ring. So I have to click through this menu here, and I have to turn this on. There's some f features in here you can also activate. Um, for example, this says Samsung Find lets you share your location with other people. If you choose to share your location with someone, you'll get a notification every time they view a map. Now, this is an optional feature, but this is something that you can be alerted to if you ever decide to share your location and someone's accessing it. This is great. For example, like my spouse, I would want her to have my location. This is a very easy way for me to share it with her. Or if you got one for your kids and you wanted to know where they were, this is another great way to keep track of where they are. And this is saying, hey, how often do you want to be alerted if someone has access the map of where you are? I'm going to hit every time. Hit next. Turn this on. Allow Samsung to access your contacts. Go to settings. And basically, you're also setting up the Samsung Find feature you're gonna also update this as well. And what this does is, again, it allows your ring to be accessible. So if it's ever lost, you can find it. All right. So this is, again, this feature doesn't really work for you if you've never set it up. Don't open this when you lose the ring. Open it when you first set up the phone and make sure you've signed in and you've accepted everything so that it can track the ring and you can find it in the event that it's lost. If not, if you try to wait to open it once it's already lost, it's probably not gonna be able to help you because it, it wasn't fully set up, all right? Anyway, so this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. And if you haven't bought a Samsung ring yet and you're considering buying one, I'd ask you to buy it through the video, through this link right here. This is a way for you to support the channel. We get a, a, a small affiliate commission when you buy one through the video. So if you choose to buy one and this video helped you out in making your decision, please go ahead and buy it through our video and that helps us out. If you got value at any point in this video, I'd ask you to bump that like button down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.